Hey everyone, in this video we're going to create this team world clock where you will be able to save team member and its time zone and after saving you will be able to see the clock and the timing like what exactly time it's happening for that person in their country or time zone. So it's a really cool project and we're going to create this project using vers uh, versalv0.dev and cursor composer feature. So yeah, this is a small demo. Let's uh, see the demo first. So you will be able to save the team member. Let's say I'm adding Dan and he lives in, let's say, Tokyo. After adding a team member, you can see in Tokyo currently 3.58 a.m. is happening. So yeah, in this way, like this new component will get added here where you will be able to see clock and what exactly time is happening for that team member it's a really cool project and like currently all these clocks are getting saved in local storage so even if i refresh it's gonna stay here so yeah i'm gonna push this project in my github repository as well and i'm gonna post this project on youtube and twitter both so you can definitely check out my youtube and twitter and yeah let's get started and let's see how you can make this project using cursor and vz.dev so like we have this world clock website, you might be familiar with this, like it shows times of like various countries, various time zones. And we're going to make something similar to this, but we will be doing it for our team members. Basically, let's say you are working in a company where everyone is working remotely and you have like your colleagues and team members belonging to various time zones. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a cool project. Let's see. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to give its reference to versalv0.dev. I'm not sure whether it takes reference, but let's see. Hey, v0, can you take this uh, link as reference? I want to create a clock component and user should be able to add a team member uh choose the time zone of that team member and you should be able to save it uh after saving we want to show the clock as well to show the exact time which is happening for that team member and has location okay let's see what it will make for us it's thinking and it's creating something for us let's see let's wait for some time also i'm not sure how many message limits i have but let's see it's working let's wait for some time it's doing its magic and yeah it created us a form where we will be able to add a team member name uh like choose the time zone right now it doesn't have any options but okay yeah it's coming and yeah let's try this i'm not sure whether it'll work so i'm gonna add let's say leo time zone would be let's say los angeles and at the member okay i think it might be working although i'm not sure whether this is the correct time uh, i think it's cool but we want a visual representation of clock for our case let's see can you create a clock uh, component like the actual uh, circle clock uh, with showing time uh, with uh, you know minutes and hour as and seconds handle and that Can you make a modern looking clock or maybe similar to uh, this website? Let's see. It's thinking and it's going to create us a clock. It's using SVG to create a clock face and hands. Let's see. I'm hoping that it should be a very good looking clock. Let's see. So after we are done with creating this component, I'm going to pass it to the cursor and you know, uh, create the page in our Next.js app. Let's see. Uh, it's still working, I think. Let's wait for some time. It's still thinking. Okay, now it's done, I believe. And it's looking really cool. But yeah, it's not letting us to uh, choose the uh, team member and like, but it's fine, I guess. We can do that work using cursor 
I'm just going to need this code. So let me just copy this code or I can just use the install command as well. I'm going to copy this and go to cursor. So I already have a Nexus project up and running, which I installed using the Nexus starter template. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it is hosted on localhost 3001. We have this starter template, which I installed using Nexus installation command, which you can find out from their official website. Let's open up a new terminal and here, let me paste that command. It's going to create that component, which we just saw. So it's going to create this component JSON file. I'm going to choose New York style. Let's choose the default ones. I'm not going to use any CSS variables. Yep. It's making changes. It's adding this component JSON file and it's going to add a component folder as well. I believe. Yep. It has added this components and lib folder. I think. Yep. Okay. It is having some mistake. Let me correct that. Okay, cool. So yeah, I think we have some mirrors. No overload matches this call. Okay. We're going to solve this later using cursor. Let's see. And yeah, let's try cursor. Now I'm going to uh, give it some instructions. Hi, we are using Nexus 15 app router and we want to create a page where user will be able to add a team member uh, select uh, choose some like choose time zone for that team member he should be able to save this and after save we want to show the clock with the exact time which is uh, happening for that team member uh, please uh, make these changes to the main page and import the new component that we just installed uh, using v0 dev its name is I think clock yep let's see also I'm gonna use gpt photo mini for this because I don't have cloud subscription right now so I'm not sure how gpt photo mini is gonna work so let's see it's doing its work let's see it has added some uh, time zones as well okay so yeah it looks good to me like it has created this uh created these changes in like main page and it has imported our clock as well uh yeah okay our clock is basically this one but yeah it's created it has created this a custom component i'm not sure let's see i'm gonna accept all the changes and let me see once like uh it added in the page tsx directly changes we have this component and it's giving us some errors because yeah we haven't defined types i guess like we don't have type for this as you can see it's taking it as any uh, which is fine right now i don't want to uh, write some types um let's see okay uh let's see like uh okay it's failing it's saying you're importing a component that needs use state it only works in client component got it so okay this component is fine it's using use client uh, okay this one has use client and okay this one is a server component so we can't directly uh, use this so what we can do is we can uh, take all this code and let's see what we can do or i'm gonna just ask cursor so what we can do is uh, please can you shift all this code to a client component and keep page.tsx as uh, like less lines as possible let's see so it's gonna make changes again let's see and it created us a new client component with name team clock manager dot tsx and it added all the changes there Hopefully it works. Let's I'm um, just going to accept all the changes and let's go to the browser. And as you can see, it added 
uh, this input field although it's not looking good because right now you're using uh, gpt photo mini i'm not sure how good it is but yeah it's definitely not that good i'm gonna add let's say my name okay as you can see incorrect local information provided this function is not working okay okay i'm just gonna ask cursor to use some another method so i remember this method like which is available in i think date fns tz library can you use uh two zone time function instead which comes from date fns tz library i believe for showing the time let's see so it's gonna make these changes and let's see although i'm not sure whether we need to install date fns tz i think it's available by default so let's see although it's still saying to install like i don't remember the exact library i think let's see yep it's saying cannot find module okay let me check online like i don't remember data fns tz is this the library okay okay i guess we need to install it so let me copy the command and paste it and it installed the command and yep we're going to use two zone time let's see if it works or not i'm going to go to chrome back i'm going to refresh it and let's see your third time zone new york and as you can see it's giving us a clock although i'm not sure whether it is the right time in the new york okay let's check so in the new york currently it's 205 and it's also showing uh, showing 205 which is cool okay now we're gonna do only one thing like we're gonna improve its design like it is looking really bad right now so let's see i'm gonna ask her sir hey uh it works fine can you do some improvements first use tailwind css lot and improve the form fields and keep everything in a flex call with good spacing and good padding. Uh, once user saves the form, show the clock and also save uh, this information somewhere maybe uh, in local storage and create a new page uh, with modern look to show all the team members which we saved along with their clocks and obviously timing uh, let's see what it does so it's generating some code hopefully it works fine like uh, in the past I've used Claude a lot and it works really good right now I'm using GPT-4 Romini with cursor composer feature i'm not sure how good it is but let's see after this also i'm gonna add some more uh, time zones but yeah you can add as many time zones you want but this is just for the sample purpose like how you can create something using cursor and v0.dev in a few minutes so let's see as you can see now it's looking really good i'm gonna add member name let's say i add leo I choose the time zone London and I add it as you can see uh, like this added a clock time for the Leo let's add a new member let's say Robin and let's say he lives in Tokyo I'm gonna add it and yay it's showing the time for the Robin as well uh, I'm not sure whether this time is right let's see so for Tokyo we have 3 8 it's nine. it's right okay let's add one more it would be let's see then I'm gonna choose New York and add it so yeah it's looking really good uh, let me refresh it I'm not sure like whether it's storing in local storage or not as you can see I refreshed it and it's still visible so that means it's working fine also as you can see uh, like time is live as you can see time is changing live so which is really good nice now what i'm gonna do is uh, improve the design of this a little bit so i'm gonna ask cursor to do that it looks really good can you 
improve the design of saved uh, team members and clock it's not looking good can you make it uh, good looking and modern with proper spacing and also can you resize the clock more so that it looks good let's see it's going to generate some code and let's see how it's going to look now and this is the final piece and yeah you uh, i'm also going to push this code in the github repository so you can always like fork this repository clone it and make the changes you can even contribute on this project and yeah i'm going to share this on twitter as well and my youtube channel as well so if you are interested you can definitely check out my youtube as well right so let's see uh, okay sorry i didn't accept the changes also it's not yet completed so let's wait for it as you can see it's still applying the changes obviously it's going to be slow right now because uh, i'm right now on a free subscription on cursor but yeah you can definitely buy its subscription it's really worth it right now i'm like on a free subscription so it's working a little slow okay cool yeah it's looking nice as you can see the team member name is coming at the top and below it's showing the time it's really looking good we have a time zone we have a time it's looking really good let's add one more team member uh but before that let's add some more time zones so i'm gonna add cursor sorry i'm gonna ask cursor to do that can you add at least 10 to 15 time zones in the uh, select option list okay great so this is the final piece that we're going to do and after that we're going to wrap up this video and i hope you learned something from this video like how you can utilize cursor and make something really cool so yeah it was definitely a fun making this video and i hope you can also make something really cool like this by utilizing cursor and v0.dev and in future i'm going to make uh like you know similar projects and similar videos like this which will be very helpful for for, for like learning purposes so yeah as you can see it has added like all these time zones which is really good so i'm gonna just accept all these changes once it's done and let's see how it looks okay i'm gonna accept all the changes and let's see so i'm gonna add one more team member let's say his name is uh peer and it's time zone is let's say let's say shanghai okay and in shanghai we have 2 11 am i'm not sure whether it's right let's see so I'm going to search Shanghai and it's 211. Yeah, that's correct. Let's add one more team member. It would be, let's say, Jasper, time zone, Berlin. Okay, cool. So in Berlin, we have 8.12 p.m. Let me confirm it. In Berlin, we have 8.12 p.m. Okay, it's working fine. So yeah, that was all. I'm just going to wrap up this video now. And I hope you learned something from this video. I'm also going to post this video on Twitter and YouTube. So you guys can check out my Twitter and YouTube both. And yeah, using Cursor and v0.dev, you can make cool projects like this. It's really good. You can also buy a subscription. That's really worth it. Yeah, I'm just going to wrap up this video now. Thanks all for watching this. Cheers.